How's it going guys? 13 guys on the stream. So, well, so we're just going to wait for a couple more people, people to jump on and we're going to start looking at this Orion D5000. This is quite a nice amplifier. These are fucking great amplifiers. Really nice, nice amplifiers. So, um, this, this amplifier has a sticker, has a sticker on it that says turns on, no outputs but unable to fully test. Okay. So the fact that this thing turns on means that we can pretty much go ahead and attach our, uh, our power supply straight to it without the risk of any problems. H1 Nicholas! Yeah, buddy! It's always a good day when H1 Nicholas jumps on my stream. It means I'm going to get get some shit done. So we're going to start looking at this amplifier then. Uh, it may not actually be as complex as I, as I envisioned uh, because if this amplifier goes down in a bad way, Usually the PIC dies, the PIC, Programmable IC, Programmable Integrated Circuit. This has got some nasty spider webs in here, like some spiders have been creeping around here, like, yo, what's up? Uh, and if the, if the Programmable IC dies, then you're kind of screwed. You're kind of screwed. But the fact that this thing apparently turns on, according to my little sticker here, um, means that we might be able to make a repair. And our phase knob, ah, interestingly, interestingly, our phase knob has been damaged. Our phase switch so has been damaged, which could uh, cause this amplifier not to work. So if we have a have a look on here, uh, bup, 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 you can see here we have a, a switch in here which is for phase. Ooh. So 9.4 volts of remote. Will 9 volts power up the Orion? We have it in protection at the moment. So 9. Oh wait. Uh, relay clicked in there. Oh, power. No, sorry. The red light on these Orions is actually power and not protect. So we have power and the relay has clicked in. So we have operation. Let's see. Do we have an output switch wave? Yes, sir, we do. So this amplifier is producing uh, the output. The output switch wave is present. The, oh, we've got a high side drive. This amplifier is using a, an older way, an older Class D ver, uh, version of Class D. So we have uh, a high side switch drive wave, which, which we can see here if we turn our scope to AC coupling. So this is our high side drive wave. This is our, our, our main drive wave, our output drive wave. And can we see our low side drive wave? That's our high side again, and our low side is going to be over this side here. And that's our low side drive wave. So the, amp the, amplifier, um, the amplifier's output section is, is, wor is, is working. Apparently, according to the sticker, is that it doesn't produce audio. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our RCAs, we're going to take our RCAs from our signal generator up here, and we're going to play a 50 hertz sine wave through it and see whether we get a 50 hertz sine wave on the outputs. Put our probe on the speaker output. Turn the amplifier on again. So amplifier appears to be in operation now again. We have, see there, we have whoo, fucking loads of output switch. We can see here that the positive speaker output has nothing on it. Uh, and we are currently driving a 50 hertz sine wave into the amplifier. We are currently driving a 50 hertz sine wave into the amplifier. And we can see that if we probe the input here. You see this? We have a 50 hertz sine wave going into the amplifier just like this. So, if we have a 50 hertz sine wave going into the amplifier, why don't why don't we have a 50 hertz sine wave coming out of the amplifier? So, yeah, one of the most common uh, issues here is actually these switches, um, and they can corrode and they don't make a nice connection to the board. So, we're just going to have a little play around with a couple of these switches and see whether we can get this amp to actually output some audio. So, we're currently on master mode. So if we now switch it over to game mode, does that make a difference? No, it's still showing nothing on the screen. If we put it over to, to uh, copy, that doesn't make a difference either. Let's put it back to master, because I imagine that's probably what, where we should be at. Uh, so let's now fill about with some of the low pass frequency knobs and see whether any of these switches cause amplifier to start working. Nope, nothing there. Uh, let's turn the high pass filter on and off. Does anything happen there? Nope, doesn't seem to happen there. 
So none of these switches are making a difference to, to making this amplifier start working. Low frequency pass, filter Q, nope, nope, nope. Aha! Aha! That's our issue. So remember the phase switch that I showed you earlier. If you weren't following me then earlier, I showed you, I showed you a phase switch. So look over here on the input section. There's a little Wii switch here, okay? And this switch has been snapped off the board. It was like, snapped the fuck off the board. So there's no switch coming out of the amplifier here for the phase to switch between uh, 180 and zero degrees. And um, it seems that the fact that that switch has snapped off, um, the, uh, the contacts have been damaged and it's preventing the audio signal from reaching the outputs. So when I probed it with my probey probe just now, we saw that when the metal made a contact just in there, the amplifier actually started to output some audio. So the problem with this amplifier is not the output section, not the power supply section, not the dodgy ass PIC, it's the phase switch. So all we need to do is either replace the phase switch if we can find a replacement that fits, or we can just jump over the pads because who the fuck uses the phase switch anyway? Ah, <laughs> that's gross. Oh, this has been stored in some janky. Ah, oh, I tell you what, cobwebs give me the flipping creeps, guys. Cobwebs give me the heebie-jeebies, man. Ah, oh, that's janky as fuck. We've got all sorts of old spiders in here old spider skin and, and other nasty shit. Ooh. Ooh. Let's get rid of that. Bye bye. Oh man, this is this is actually making me feel slightly nauseous. Yeah. Vanessa says thanks a bunch. Thank you as well. Thank you Vanessa for joining in the live stream and getting involved. It's fantastic to have you here. It really is. It makes it makes my job so much more fun because you know this. I, I'd be doing this shit by myself. I'd be doing this shit all by myself. If it wasn't for you guys keeping me entertained in the live chat and causing my repairs to take twice as long as they would otherwise, I'd be bored out of my mind. So we just sucked the holes from that that uh, switch there. So now this switch should come out the board very nice and easy. There we go. So this is this is the reason. This is the the thing, the thing that was preventing from this amplifier from working was this janky ass looking phase switch. So just something as simple and as small as that can bring an amplifier down in flames. Well, not in flames, but stop it from working anyway. So we have a look in the drawer of requirements. This is my drawer of random shit. This is this is my drawer of like, it, it says RCA etc on it because the RCAs were the first thing that I put in it, the RCANs, and then I just started loading it up with a load of other crap, and so I just called it RCA etc. So we've got like switches, we've got headers, RCANs, uh, some washers, and some well some resistors that actually shouldn't be in that drawer. In my what the fuck drawers, we have found a replacement switch. See here, this is a switch which is exactly, this happens to be the exact same type and uh, fitment as the one I just removed, so that's good. Oh, uh, like, like, I'll tell you what, I, I don't know, I don't know why, but I just find that so satisfying. Just, just fl flipping, like, when, when you've got 10 pins here, and you just line it up, and it just goes, poof, so easily so easily without any complaints it goes in there ah that's lovely that's lovely all right so let, let, let's just quickly power this amp up out of the case just to make sure that we have actually fixed it amplifiers come on good stuff we have output switches oh, oops i should probably turn my scope on so we've got output switch as you can see uh, uh the output switch wave i haven't turned my scope onto the right settings for output switch so it just looks like a big mess but i know that that's good um so yes audio audio do we have audio da, 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 da. yes we do amplificator amplifier is fixed funcionaba muy bien Estupendo! 
Cool. Okay. So third beer in and we fixed the third amplifier. So that's one amplifier per beer. I've had three beers and we fixed three amplifiers. So if, if, if you want to repair some amplifiers, then have a beer per amp and you'll do well. <laughs>